Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to the Why This Hero is OP guide. Today we're looking at Zeus, and why he's so effective, particularly in the lower skill brackets. So Zeus is characterized primarily by his high nuke damage abilities. So he obviously has lots of abilities to harass using spells. Obviously his Q, his lightning bolt is really, really good, and of course his ultimate allows you to pick off enemies. The guy does very high levels of harass, and I think that's part of his reasoning for some of his success, is that um, he can bolt out a huge amount of damage in the early game. And popping off the nuke after nuke after nuke in short succession with relatively low cooldown means that he can really burst damage in insane ways. So the first thing about him is that he's actually a very robust uh, mid laner. He isn't, I'll, I'll, I'll say right now, he isn't the best mid laner in the world, but at the same time, particularly in the lower skill brackets, he is really solid. He can effectively farm, and that's kind of a big thing, very hard to zone out, and obviously going over high ground to try and uh, secure a kill against him can be very, very difficult. And his ability to bolt you from a distance and do that burst really, really makes you think twice before you go on the guy. Very solid, and key thing is he can get farm quickly. Now, his ultimate is particularly fantastic given the fact that not so much the fact that he can pick an enemy off if you're not anywhere nearby. So, you know, you've got a team fight on the other side of the match, boom, you can take off or reduce the health of the enemies you're fighting. The big thing is actually he reveals people. So during a, for example, initiation, particularly with the Marana ultimate, or in fact any sort of smoke ganks or whatever, or you don't know where the enemy is, you need to know where they are, he can reveal them straight away with his ultimate and effectively counter a team gank um, using if they're using smoke, for example. Very, very strong, good hard count to Marana. So, the, for me, the biggest thing um, is the fact the guy reveals wards. Now, this, this is great pretty much throughout every skill bracket, because what that means is instead of spending um, money on sentries, you can just reveal your wards, and then ba ba they're gone. Fantastic stuff. Uh, in the lower skill brackets, this is even more awesome, because what's going to happen is, if the enemy has decided to you know, buy wards, they will never see you coming, because you will reveal them all and deward the whole place. Um, so, it's a really, really great at messing that up. Which brings us on to the other thing he does. He also reveals invisible heroes. Now, one of the big things in the lower skill brackets that we see all too often is no one ever buying any dust. So when you've got some enemy uh, heroes who like to use invisibility, uh, for example, Ricky, the guy just pops off spell after spell after spell, reveal exactly where they are, and then you can kill them. Very, very bad news for Ricky, who is extremely popular. So the talent tree. Now the talent tree by no means is spectacular, but there are certain things that it does in the lower skill brackets which is really awesome. In particular at that level 10 plus 2 mana regen. People like to spot, pop spells off on the guy and run out, run out of mana really quickly. That really helps balance that sort of thing and, and allows him to spam more spells which means of course more damage and more kills. So this, this naturally, of course, is really great. Don't get me wrong, as you go up higher in the, the tree bracket, there are other wonderful little things to add in there, particularly with the reduced respawn time, which is really quite significant. But on the whole, that's why he's so good right now. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content, or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.